We're talking about playing steel pans and fitting into various musical situations or ensembles. Um, concentrating very much on accompanying uh, the rest of the band because that's part uh, that most musicians can be a little confused about. Uh, it seems a little bit of a mystery. How do you accompany another musician playing? We're talking about playing chords and arpeggios and rhythmic ideas. Well, there's also the time when you're going to join and play the melody. And how do you uh, differentiate between the accompaniment and the melody? So if I'm playing, let's say I'm playing an accompaniment using the chords like we've been talking about. That imagining is someone else is playing a melody while I'm playing that. So I'm playing it at a nice easy volume. You can hear it, but I'm not playing it too loud. Now if it comes to be my turn to play the melody, I may bring that melody out a little bit and then come back down and play that accompaniment, such as this. There are certain ways that you can play the accompaniment for yourself or you may be the only one uh, playing the chords and uh, let, let's say in a reggae situation if you're accompanying accompanying the rest of the band like that how are you going to bring out the melody and let the melody be heard one way is octaves when I play octaves, I'm playing this note, which is my C, and then I'm going to play the eight, which is the C above that. On most steel drums, again, these are all handmade, so uh, on my drum, it's right here. So if I'm playing nice and quietly, and I want the melody, to bring out your melody 